Kia ora. It's been a while. You enjoying yourself out in the bush? There's nothing I love more than strapping a pack on and getting lost out there. So I'm glad you've had the chance to wind down and take it in after all that excitement earlier. Got a couple of updates for you. First of the lighthouse is just up the path off the beach here. Speaking of resplendent sword, the protests have continued and the demolition of the commune made it into the local papers. I actually received a lot of support, even from people I wouldn't have expected it from. It's been humbling. I'm not going to go out of my way to drop in on the town, especially now I'm so busy with the book, but it is nice to feel like you're part of a community again. Good spot. Moody. Let's get one a little closer up, too. This beach is where I saw that moose cow about 35 years ago. She was staring out at the sea, looked heaps lonely. It probably won't surprise you to learn that I was kind of a weird kid, introverted and a bit in my own world. There was something about her that connected with me then, and still does. No one's manned this place for decades. Bolted shut. Perfect. I'll send these on right away. Right. Let's grab a close-up from around here. It's been quite the adventure we've embarked on, eh? finally see a future for this place where we're not at the mercy of outside actors and that's in no small part thanks to you. To preserve Te Awaroa's heritage and safeguard our unique biodiversity requires constant vigilance but I think I'm up for the challenge. Wouldn't you agree, Eho? Eh, 